All right, let's finally go the right way. I like how they just disappear. It kind of sucks, doesn't it? Like if you're trying to get a tame, but you're too high level, they kind of just disappear on you because they're running away. I have to take a fight here. I don't think I could avoid one. So you need more defense. Might as well max out that attack, actually. Let's get that to the next level. God, it takes so many now. One more should do. Okay. Then defense. Okay. Then you need a lot more defense. Takes so long. I wish you could just feed like a couple. Like just feed a stack to it. Okay. Then you, I don't know what I'm doing with you. I have a lot of physical defense actually. Okay, so if it doesn't like the food, it's half as as, as effective. Yeah, I'm gonna just pump you with defense, I guess, and attack. Magical defense, actually. Do you like that food? Not really. Okay. So I just pump your attack then. Okay, and you. <laughs> your stats are so overloaded. They're just so OP. So if I were to give you accuracy or something, what food do you actually like? Is it magic attack? Wait, what do you like? Evasion? 
You like evasion. I'm just gonna leave that. Griffin's already super overstated anyways. Castaway Cove, haven of half-dressed harmony. Stop! Thief! Huh? A thief? Where? A man, he ran off with a huge pot. Come back here, you must pay. Someone has to stop him. It's, it's daylight robbery. You're not going to let him get away with it, are you, Ollie boy? No way. We need to go after him. That's the spirit. Proper brave you are, man. No wonder you passed them trials. Yeah, I knew you'd say that, Oliver. Let's chase down that criminal. Alright, come on. And it's a new town. Time to speak to everyone. Once again, it is, it is he, that blessed thief. Okay, well, this all just leaps. Phew, it is cursedly hot today. I think perhaps I should swim out to the edge of the cove. It may be somewhat cooler there. Oh, there's the end. Might as well rest at it. Oh, pot. Fifty. Hmm. Gently cooled by the sea breeze, you may find some of our other guests to be a somewhat rough or even practical persuasion, but please pay them no heed. Oh, what's this? Uh, memories of the seafarers. chest. Ooh, milk chocolate. I give a lot. Mother's latest glow shrimp haul has broken the Almamuni record. Yesterday, father caught the largest dumb flounder he had ever seen, but it got away. Welcome to Castaway Cove, travelers. You are fond of our town, perhaps. It is, I think, a very nice way of life we have here. You should stay a while, for a while. Okay, so if I go this way, it loops round. Hmm, what should I prepare for her t tonight, I wonder? Are you cooking dinner, miss? Indeed I am. There is an old lady who lives alone near here. You see, I assist her with domestic tasks and so on. So you're her maid, huh? Oh, nothing like that. It is merely something that I choose to do. The old lady, she cared for me when I was a child. I am mere, mere, merely repaying the very many favors she performed for me. There ain't a lot of people who do that kind of thing without asking for a single gilder in return, you know. This one's got more kindness in her little finger than most folks have gotten their whole body. Uh, excuse me, miss. We were wondering if you'd be able to help us with something. Hmm? You require my assistance? That's right. We were hoping you'd be able to share a little bit of your kindness with us. There's somebody who needs it, you see. Hmm. It'll, if it will help someone who's in need, how could I possibly refuse? 
Thank you very much, miss. You attained some kindness. The thought that I might help someone gives me the greatest satisfaction. Yes, yes, this is it. This is the future. Gee, ma'am, you sure do seem happy. No doubt I do. I have successfully visualized a swimsuit more elegant than anything that has come before it. For the designer, no joy is comparable. I only need to... I only... I need only require the materials, and my vision shall be realized. Ah, perhaps you can help. Uh, us? Really? Yes, yes. Would you do something for me? Perhaps? In the name of the ancients and all that is elegant. My new swimsuit requires a certain material that is rare, but by no means unattainable. If you could fetch it for me, perhaps? Oh, thank you. It is rainbow leaves that I require. These are usually carried by florists. Three should suffice, I think. Uh, what's a florid? Keep up, Ollie boy. They're creatures that roam the shimmering sands, ain't they? You must have seen a couple. The thing is with rainbow leaves, though. Ah, this fairy knows his fashion, I think. There is indeed an additional complication. The rainbow leaves that florists carry must be cooled down before you pick them up. They will otherwise wilt before your very eyes. This makes life difficult, I realize, but the designer's lot has never been easy. But how are we meant to cool them down if the florists are holding them? Hmm, oh. What's that icy spell? What's that icy spell you got again? Frostbite, is it? Try knocking the florists out with that. Should keep the leaves nice and cool, I reckon. That sounds like a plan, Mr. Grippy. Let's give it a try. Okay, well, I've never done that before. Ah, uh, there's no place like one's hometown. The fact that we live and work together is a source of great comfort to me, dear brother. I do not know what I would do without your friendship and guidance. Ooh, more chocolate. I trust the sea is in fine spirits today, father. Ah, what perfect weather. I can only hope that the ancients blessed us further with a still sea and mountainous catch. It came from Ding Dong Dell, perhaps. I hear that it is a fine city, if a little dull. Here from the from outside of here, I think. Please tell me about long sleeve shirts. Are they very uncomfortable? There's oh, there's a chest here. However, there is a crab there, or something. Welcome to Swift Solutions. side of in Castaway Cove. Oh, I see it. Okay, so that's everything over here. I can go underneath. I see a chest. With the blessings of the ancients, I shall return with a basket full of glow shrimp. It is glow shrimp season, you know. At this time, they are at their most plump and plentiful. Got a sandwich. Okay, let's start with this dude. What a wonderful weather. A sign from the ancients that I am due a bountiful haul, perhaps. So you're a fisherman, huh? I most certainly am, and I am just about to head out to sea. 
Ain't you a bit worried about all the monsters that have popped up around here then? Monsters? Ha! No fisherman worthy of the name would give such trifling concerns a moment's thought. You're not scared of monsters? Of course not. Why, I have already survived one monster attack. I drove those creatures away then, and if necessary, I shall do the very same thing again. Flipping heck, man. You can almost smell the courage on this one. You sure can. Excuse me, sir. We'd like to ask you a favor. A favor? But I must set sail soon, lest I miss the fair winds and the bentful hulls they bring. Oh, it'll only take a sec. Uh, it'll only take a second. We just want to borrow a little of your courage. The courage? Certainly. It's not something I lack. Take as much as you wish. Thank you, Mr. Fisherman, sir. Oh, you're finished already? That, ah, tingling sensation in my chest. That was my heart, perhaps? It pleased me to see you f so full of courage, but still, you must remain cautious, I think. Fish burger. Fresh fruits, vibrant vegetables, the finest in all the summer lands. Two bunches of bananas and a nice crispy lettuce that should make for a hearty meal. Father told me that when he lived in a city named Hamlin, he had to wear heavy armor all at all times. Now that he has moved to Castaway Cove, he has no need for such things. He keeps them under the bed, alongside his periodicals. Father, what is a long sleeve shirt? My uncle is the greatest sailor Castaway Cove has ever seen. He thought Captain Sinba, all of that he knows. Curses. What is this affliction I suffer? Uh, are you okay? You don't look so good. I... I have always been a man of the sea, becoming a fisherman. It was my only ambition, ever since I was a babe in arms. And indeed, I was recently able to finally acquire my very own vessel. Oh wow. That's great. Congratulations. I'm grateful for your kind words, but uh, I suddenly find myself to be most terribly afraid of the ocean. The ocean I have always loved. I simply cannot bring myself to go fishing. What has become of me? I do not know. A fisherman who's suddenly scared of the sea? Mr. Drippy, it sounds like he's broken hearted, ain't it? I can courage he is. No doubt about it. You're going to help him out, Dolly boy. I sure am. I mean, he just caught his own boat. Right you are then. Let's see if we can find some courage for our fisherman friend. Oh, there's another crab there. Hmm? Oh, praise to be to the ancients. Courage swells within my breast once more. Nito, so you're not scared of the sea anymore? Not in the slightest. Indeed, I shall take to the waves forthwith. Ah, but first I must show you my gratitude. Please accept this by way of thanks. I'm getting a lot of fish burgers, huh? What do fish burgers even do? 150 health. Right. Uh, do I want to do side quests? Or do I want to do this now? Do this now. Damn it. There's no escape. Give back what you stole. What I stole? What are you on about? What do you mean, what am I on about? That great big pot, of course. Pot? Oh, this thing? What's wrong with him, man? It's like he doesn't even remember stealing it. Oh, 
what the? What was that all about? Why would he steal something, then just throw it away like that? Yes, why would he? What was he thinking? I don't reckon he was thinking at all, man. Huh? What do you mean? Well, he ain't broken hearted what he steal. He, he ain't bothered what he steals. It's just the stealing he's in it for, ain't it? You mean he enjoys stealing for its own sake? Yeah, that's about the size of it. I'm no expert, mind. If that's really true, he's even more horrible than I thought. Well, never mind that for a minute. Let's get this old pot back to the peddler, shall we? You must be worried sick, poor fellow. You must be. Huh. Okay, let's take it back to him. He obtained a peculiar pot. Why do I always end up carrying flipping everything? What are you, too delicate or something? Too lazy, more like? Hmm, kids these days. Oh, can't get onto the boat. There's no weapon shop here. Uh, this man. Uh, excuse me, sir. I think this belongs to you. Oh, ah, indeed. You, ah, you recovered it. Yes, we did. The thief got away, unfortunately, but we got your pot back for you. Curses. Uh, I, I mean, is that so? You have my thanks. Raggy, don't be... Don't go being too grateful, will you? It's not like I'm flipping heavy. It's flipping heavy or something, anything. Forgive me. It's, it's... It is just that... I was rather pleased to have finally rid myself of it. Huh? The man you chased. He is a habitual thief. He does not care what he steals. So as ever, I called after him. Stop thief. But when I saw what he had taken, I gave thanks to the ancients. You gave thanks for being robbed? In this instance, yes. You see, this pot, no matter how hard, no matter how I, how I try, it will not open. Therefore, I cannot use it to store my wares. It is of no use to me. Yes, you must take it, for apprehending the thief. It is the least I can do. You're giving it to us, just like that? Hold on a second. You just told us it's flipping useless, and now you're pretending you're doing us a favor giving it to us? What's going on, man? Uh, um, perhaps you will think of it as a souvenir for your visit to Castaway Cove, Jewel of the Seven Seas. Um, a souvenir? A great big pot like this? Yes, a most wondrous souvenir. It is no ordinary pot after all. If the rumors are to be believed, it was once used by an ancient royal family. It has an illustrious and regal history. But if that, but if that's true, we can't accept it. It's too valuable. B but you must. I'm so grateful to you. So very grateful for your help. Think nothing of it. Go now. Take it. Go. Be gone. Uh, okay. You said yes. What did you do that for, man? What do you mean, Mr. Treppy? Did I do something wrong? I mean, he looked as, as if he was going to cry if I didn't take it. He seemed real worried. Indeed, I, I was worried. Worried that you would uh, think me ungrateful, yes. That is what I was worried about. Thank you so very much. Something is funny. Something funny is going on here. Come on, tell us. There's something wrong with this pot, isn't there? R wrong? Why, of course not. It is simply that the lid will not open and uh, perhaps now and again spine-chilling clatterings emanate from within. But only once in a while. It is nothing. Haha. <laughs> So the lid won't open, but the strange sound comes from inside it. What could that mean? Ah, so that's it, is it? Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Huh? You know why it won't open, Mr. Trippy? Nah, man. It'll open. You just need to know how, ain't it? It's a cauldron, see? Really? This is a cauldron? Wow. You know what that is? 
Yes, I've never seen one, but my father used to have one. All wizards have a cauldron, you see. They do? That they do, Ollie boy, and the reason it won't open is because it's sealed up tight with powerful magic. But all it needs for a true wizard to say the magic words written in the wizard's companion, and Alakazam, the little pop off just like that. It will, huh? Oliver, you should try to open it. I should? Right now? Why not, man? There's no time like the present. Go on, give it a go. Okay, so the magic words are in the wizard's companion, huh? Let me take a look. Is it actually just gonna make me look? You do remember how to read your wizard's companion, don't you, Ollie boy? I sure do, Mr. Drippy. I just open it up from the main menu and uh, start reading. Exactly. A budding wizard like you should be reading a bit of that book every day, truth be told. Anyway, get and find them magic words, will you? We haven't got all day. Uh, but the wizard companion is kind of long. I mean, it might take a while for me to find the right words. You don't have to read the, the whole thing, do you? Use your noggin. The magic words for your alchemical cauldron will be in the chapter on alchemy, ain't it? That makes sense, I guess. I'll start looking then. Find the magic words, did you, Ollie boy? Well then, let's get this over before you forget the flipping things. As soon as you're ready, stand in front of the cauldron and say them loud and clear, alright? Oh, God. It actually makes you, <laughs> makes you type it out. So it's for doing alchemy in, is it? That must be why it's so flipping heavy. I guess I gotta read it. Okay, alchemy. Chapter 2. Uh. Um. 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 Chapter 3. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Uh, cauldrons and genies. Sesame. Open sesame. <laughs> Open sesame. Okay. Does it need the dashes? Alright, I'm ready. Where is it? Open. Where's N? And then space. Uh, says... Can I just do spaces? Uh... Me. But it works with the spaces? Okay. Genie of the Cauldron, Alchemy. Wait, what? I wasn't ready for a fight. Go, Griffin. You shall. You shall win for me. Griffin just did 200 damage. Here, you just, just defend. Okay, fine, fine. Rec recall. Griffin will just do everything for me. Look at that, he takes one damage. Mighty was taking like, what? 10 damage or something? I literally don't have to do anything. Okay, maybe I should back him up. Here, take a frostbite. Okay, um... Uh, let's try another one. Let's try fireball. Okay, you... Wh what happened to Griffin? 
call it Griffin. You can't do this without Griffin. Griffin's the entire party. Alakazam. Oh, you'll find it eventually. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. What do I pulse? What does this do? 40 damage. Mostly just... Come on. Yeah, Griffin. Go, Griffin. Get him, Griffin. Beat him up, Griffin. Gr 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 Griffin, beat him up. Yeah, beat him up, Griffin. <laughs> what are you moaning about? You're only taking like one damage. Beat him up, Griffin. Just like that. He just attack us like that. Phew, are you all right, Oliver? Oh, your name is Oliver, Master. I'm, I'm sorry? Ah, oh, most illustrious Master Oliver. Your powers and your prowess in battle is unsurpassed. Surpassed. Graceful, fearsome, yet merciful. Truly, you are a master worthy of alchemy. Genie of the pot. Genie. That's right, Ollie boy. Every cauldron has a genie inside it, see? They do what's known as alchemy for you. But they have to test you first, to see if you're worthy, ain't it? That's why the big red bruiser started on you. Nothing personal, like if you're after a cauldron, it's the only way. It's traditional, you see? Gee, you could have warned me, Mr. Trippy. Damn. When first I laid eyes on you, Miss Master, your diminutive size worried me most prodigiously. But you have humbled me. You have reminded me that a book may never be judged by its cover. No matter how unimpressive it may be, I bow to you, Master, now and forevermore. Pleased to meet you too. You obtained a cauldron. Master, I must pay you tribute. Please accept these humble gifts. Bottle of pixie dew. Sour grapes. Leaves. You must combine these items with the power of alchemy. They will produce a most wonderful and magical result. Now, Master, it seems you are still in need of instructions concerning on the use of the cauldron. There are two ways to alchemize. When you possess the alchem alchemical formula of the item you desire, simply select follow the formula and you shall have it in in an instant. But should you not possess the formula, you may select mix and match to combine ingredients to your heart's content. I pray you will produce most wonder wondrous and magical results, Master. For your first steps on the path of the alchemist, I recommend that you follow a formula. Do not run before you can walk, Master. And for this, your first alchemical experiment, I present you also I present you also with a formula. Behold! You obtained a new formula. Master, you must use the formula I gave you. Sprite you. 200 all allies. Success, you made the following bo bottle of Sprite you. It is a success, Master. Truly a work of wonder. Your cauldron is capable of many more such miracles. It can produce weapons, armor, med medicines, and treasures of every kind. You must take your, your wizard's companion in hand and try all the alchemical arts have to offer. I will, Mr. Genie, sir. Thank you very much. I look forward 
most humbly to serve you, master. There's useful, eh, Holly boy? Now we just need to bag ourselves a boat, and all will be tidy. Let's go, Mr. Drippy. Meanwhile, this guy's just watching all of this unfold. Genie and the cauldron. Never did it get inside, I wonder. Well, I'm sure you need not concern yourself with such matters. Please peruse my wares. What have you got? Oh, you're the weapon... Weapon guy as well. I shall buy two. Oh, this one's from magic. This one's on oh, magic and accuracy. Right, I'll just buy one of these. Oh, that's minus accuracy. It's like plus seven damage though. What does ingredient mean? Is it does it mean it's an ingredient for something else or does that mean I can make it? Oh right, armor. Eh, I kinda spent all my money, huh? Occasionally auto blocks. I'll buy one of them. Accessories. I have a fire seal. Increases attack when HP is full. Only one person can wear that. Then ingredients. Okay, so ingredient does mean it's used to make something else. Thanks and thank yous for your patronage. Hope to see you again soon. Oh, well, that's what this is. What formulas do I have? Nothing! It's a match. Hold on. Hold on. Alchemy. No. Uh, I cannot make any of that. Okay, don't have any of those or those. Nope, can't make any of that. Next page. I assume I can't make any weapons. I don't have materials for them. So let me move on to whatever this is. Fangs. Don't have any of those. What about this? No. No. Nope. Milk chocolate. Oh, it costs a bar of chocolate. I don't have any creamy milk. Or jar. Or honey. So I can't make any of this. Okay. Right over here. I don't have any of these ingredients. Pie and crunchy carrots. Do I have that? I have pie. I'm missing one crunchy carrot. Okay, what else we got? Oh my god, the delay before I can actually select something. I don't have any ember stones. Hmm, I don't have any of this stuff. I don't really need provisions. Okay, well, can't make anything. Maybe I just throw in some random stuff. Here, uh, make some bread. Uh, and some coffee. Mix that. 
I get? Oh, I get my stuff back if it doesn't work. Okay. These are ingredients for stuff. How much stuff can I put in? Three? Yeah, you'd need a guide for that. This is a new quest. Ah, that big pot you have. It's a cauldron, is it not? Uh, yeah, that's right. So you must be a wizard. Craggy, it sounds like this little girl knows a thing or two about wizarding, Ellie boy. I do. I read my wizard book every day. I know all about wizards and the spells they cast. But the spells, they are not my favorite thing about wizards. It is alchemy that I love the most. I read, read that wizards can make almost anything by mixing materials in a cauldron. Is that true? It sure is. It's actually pretty easy if you have the right ingredients. Easy for one such as you, I think. Ah, uh, being a wizard must be very wonderful. Would you, would you show me how alchemy works? Could you make me a candle cutter, perhaps? I heard that candle cutters can only be made using alchemical methods. I would dearly love to see one for myself. Oh, wonderful. I do not think I have ever been this excited. And to make a candle cutter, you need a flint dagger and also an ember stone. Flipping heck, you don't know. You don't half know your stuff. Yeah, it's all in my book. All right, I shall wait here. Please hurry, I'm very excited. I need a what now and a what now? Flint dagger and ember stone. I don't think I have an ember stone, and I don't think I have a flint dagger. You do not sell daggers. I have a flint spear. I didn't really buy any daggers. And an ember stone. I dare to have one. I guess you can use these later on. Okay, uh, it doesn't seem like there's any new quests. Let's just keep going. Everybody here is wearing a swimsuit, huh? Yes, no wonder they call it the Seaside Paradise of the Sert. Look, they are not dressed correctly. But so very disrespectful. Uh, what? Huh? Niggers, it's like Ding Dong Dell all over it. A flipping gen. Gen. Jeepers. Come now, what is this disturbance? Ah, uh, Governor, the very person we need. What do we have here, hmm? You are a visitor to our town, I take it? You must know that all who enter this place are required by law to wear the appropriate attire. I speak, of course, of the bathing suit. Uh... But we ain't planning on moving here, is it? We're just passing through, like. Nonetheless, the law must be obeyed. The dark days of the past cannot be revisited. We once had great trouble here. I'm sorry to hear that. I never think it to look... You'd never think it to look at the place now. It's so peaceful. It was a time of great sadness. Travelers from all over our world sailed to... To Castaway Cove, travelers who do not always see eye to eye. The men of the sea are hardy, but quick-tempered. Without constant supervision, they would, they would soon fall upon one another in anger. And for this reason, I devised a mean of, a means of maintaining the peace. I'm sure you have guessed already what it is. Um, yes, to require all those in town to wear bathing suits, of course. Uh, what is he, flipping crackers or something? What difference would that make? 
A great difference indeed, fairy, for in a bathing suit, one cannot conceal a weapon. Oh. And no matter where their homeland may be, all who come here must dress in the same manner. Be they from Al Mamun, from Ding Dong Dell, or from the furthest flung islands of the north. When they don the bathing suit, they become citizens of Castaway Cove. Wow, that's interesting. But it's such a strange idea. How did you convince everyone to agree? Oh, at first, of course, I met with ridicule from all sides. No, none would support my scheme. But I did not waver. I remained true to my vision. I put away my resentment and my frustration. And why I was able to sow such restraint? Because I had a dream. A dream of peace in the place of my birth. Gee, I thought they were dressed like that because it was so hot. <laughs> Me too. You are not the first to think so, but this only proves how peaceful our town has become. Such a misunderstanding is a happy one. I understand now. We should respect the governor's wishes and dress like everyone else. Let's do it. I want to become a citizen of Castaway Cove. Alright then, if we flipping must. But I ain't got a swimsuit, have you? Oh, worry not, little one. We have a great wealth of bathing suits prepared for visitors such as yourselves. Come, you will follow me to my home. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. We may be boys, but we ain't entirely ignorant of the more involved natures of feminine dress, eh, hey, Ollie boy? Uh, I guess. Anyway, we're all citizens of Castaway Cove now. Let's go take a look around. Thank you very much, Mr. Governor, sir. Oh, ho, 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 ho. The bathing suits are yours now. You must wear them whenever you visit us. Now, at last, I can say to you, welcome to Castaway Cove. Thank you. And now, at last, we can go and look for a flipping boat. Talk about Fafman. You obtained a bathing suit. Seems kind of pointless, but okay. I can't believe they even had a bathing suit in my size. That village chief bloke must have a tidy pair pile of swimwear stashed away. There's prepared. Rarely have I seen travelers look so at home in their bathing suits. So you're saying travelers feel weird when wearing them. I thought you had a horn for a second. Excuse me, sir. Are you the captain of the ship? That I am, lad. Captain and master of all who sail in her. You have a beautiful boat, Captain. You do not need to tell me that. She is the most beautiful on the seven seas. There is not a finer or more fearsome ship afloat. And her name is no less fine or fearsome. For she is the legendary Sea Cow. I have something to ask you, Captain. Would you let us ride aboard your boat, ship? Hmm? You seek passage aboard the Sea Cow? We need to get to Artemania. A vast girl. You believe you can merely stroll aboard? Who do you think you are? Well, Captain, I'm... Well, Captain, and may I say what, what a fine Captain you are. The young man standing before you, and I know it seems unlikely, but bear with me. This unassuming scrap of a lad here, Oliver, his name is, he is only on a journey to save our flipping world, and he only he's only accompanied by none other than myself, Trippy Lord High Lord of the Fairies. Oh, and I'm Esther. You are a fairy. I've traveled the world, but never have, have I seen one of your kind before. So, lad, you traveled to save the world with a fairy for a companion? Ha, <laughs> then surely my ship alone will not suffice. You will need two ships, a fleet even. Uh, does that mean we can ride with you? But of course, boy, just as soon as you've shown me a letter of passage from our beloved Caophilia, the most exalted Loa. We sail, after all, for her glory. 
and for that, of Alma Moon. Should the carefully uh, see fit to grant you permission to come aboard, I will refuse you nothing. Alright, Captain. We'll go and get that letter right now. Fine words, lad, but easier said than none, I fear. Still, if you are truly to save our world, it should be the work of mere mo moments. I don't think he believes us, does he? It doesn't matter. We just have to prove him wrong. If we can bring him the letter of passage, he'll have to believe us. Let's go back to Alma Moon and get it. Halifa Lola, eh? I wonder what she's like. Looking forward to this, I am. I flipping love royalty, me. Alright, guess I'm going back to Alma Moon. I can start doing some side quests, I guess, as well. I don't know where to get an Ember Stone, though. I don't think the shop sells for one. This is a desert bloom who's... This is a desert bloom whose flowers open only during the evening. It is said to be exceptionally rare. And yet, it is daytime, and the flower is open. By the beards of the ancients. It is a facsimil... Facsimile? It's a... I don't... I don't... I've never seen that word before. You do not sell an ember stone. Okay, 